once there was a little girl named Sally. Sally always had to look neat because she had a really fussy mother who was always saying, don't lose this and don't lose that. Especially when she gave her something brand new like gloves. Please keep tidy because your grandmother will be so pleased to see you looking so pretty, her mother said. But it was such a nice day that Sally went out to play. One of her new gloves was gone. What was she to do? Sally looked all over town, but she couldn't find her new glove anywhere. There was only one place left to look. The house up on the hill where Mr. Cadabra, the wizard, lived. Sally was afraid to knock on his door, but she was even more afraid to go home without her glove. My glove, she asked Mr. Cadabra. No, but gloves are easy to make. Here's one, take it. But tell your mother what happened, or you'll have to come back and do some work for me. Sally was so relieved that she ran all the way home. She didn't tell her mother what happened. My, my, her mother said, you look so nice. I'm so glad you didn't lose your pretty new gloves. When Sally went to bed that night, she hoped the wizard would forget about their deal. did not forget. He picked her up and carried her to his magic chamber. Why didn't you tell your mother what really happened? His voice boomed from the ceiling. Well, I had the glove, and Mother never would have known. And sometimes it's just so hard to tell the truth. Sometimes you have to do hard things, Sally. Look at me. I have to make houses and trees and flowers. And it isn't easy. I've got a hard job for you. And if you can't finish the job tonight, You'll have to keep coming back until you do finish. Now, here's some magic yarn. I want you to crochet some stars for me. Sally tried with all her might. And before she knew it, she had made a bundle of stars. You did it, said Mr. Cadabra. But these stars will fade away unless you always tell the truth. Sally decided that if she was strong enough to make stars, she was strong enough to tell the truth. Suddenly, another pair of yellow gloves appeared in Sally's hands, and Mr. Cadabra said, you can give these to your mother. 
A long time ago, she made stars in the sky for me, too. Now it's time for you to go home. That morning, the yellow gloves Mr. Cadabra gave her were right on her bed. The first thing Sally did was to tell her mother the whole story. Thank you, said her mother, who now remembered a strange dream she had once, many years ago. Mr. Cadabra was very proud of Sally. He knew she wouldn't be back. 